Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization at Sweetwater Sound, and today I'm thrilled to death to be showing you the Moog System 55. Now, I studied on one of these 35 years ago at Northern Illinois University, and I'm telling you, this is an exact recreation of that. It looks the same, it sounds the same, it's made from original parts, the circuit boards are made based on the original films, um, and it is made exactly in the same way. It sounds the same way, it is an awesome beast. So first, let me plug in an oscillator, show you what that sounds like. And of course it has the Moog low pass filter as well as a high pass filter. Now the same thing with some delay. And then they have this fixed filter bank. And basically, it's a whole bunch of bandpass filters that lets you let specific frequency bands through. And a great way to show that is with white noise. So we'll take the white noise out into this thing. And basically, you can turn up various bands. So here's, for example, 125 hertz, 175 hertz. 50, 350, 500, 700, 1,000, 1,400, 2,000, 2,800, 4,000, 5,600, as well as high pass and a low pass. It gives me chills being able to hear those sounds again. I, I have not played with a fixed filter bank in so many decades, uh, so very, very thrilling. Um, so now we'll uh, go ahead and patch up some more complex things. So one of the first things you want to do is hear three of the oscillators going at the same time. It's quite amazing. So we'll just plug in three of these beasts. We'll take Sawtooth out. Now we'll take one of the voltage controlled oscillators and use it to modulate the frequency of another oscillator. I'll bring that up.
All right, let's see what this does. As the System 55 by Moog, my name is Daniel Fisher. If you have any further questions about the System 55, the System 35, or the Model 15, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thank you for listening.